Good day, and welcome back to the Vitality Project. I'm Dr. Bob. I appreciate very much you joining me today. Yesterday, we established a clearer understanding of the linkage between stress on the one hand and our reaching to addictive relief on the other. Recall for just a moment, we named stress hormones, uh, cortisol and adrenaline, the two primary stress hormones. We named them on one end of what we called the brain's stress seesaw. And our body's primary pleasure uh, chemicals, uh, specifically dopamine, were on the other end. So that's the seesaw right there. When one goes up, the other goes down and round and round we go in our addictive cycles as we've discussed, and we'll certainly be amplifying and discussing these more as we move forward. <clears throat> There's one more brain chemical, which I think would also be helpful for us to reflect on for just a moment, and that brain chemical is glutamate. <clears throat> the word glutamate derives from the Latin root word, which literally means glue. Uh, in ancient times, there was a phrase, the glutinum and mundi, which literally means glue of the world. This was seen as a spiritual principle. And I think if we bring it forward to modern times, I think that glutamate may well fit that description, glue of the world. Let me say more about that. What glutamate does is seal into our memory banks any dopamine-directed behavior this would be all of our addictive behaviors. Glutamate glues this in. And uh, in particular, it helps us to remember anything that's helped to reduce cortisol or stress. So it remembers what reduced cortisol and stress, which is to say, and back to that stress seesaw, it helps us to remember anything that was effective, typically something that drives up our, our dopamine, something that spikes our dopamine. And once that's done, it's really not ever forgotten. If you think of it as glue, this is very, very persistent, sticky glue. For today, what I'd like you to do is think back to behaviors that you've engaged in, whether around substance or other forms of self-medicating for the sake of relief. So we're looking at addictive behaviors here. Uh, uh, particularly in the face of unbearable stress, we'll turn to uh, means of relieving our stress. And what we're aiming to do here is to at least begin to make a more conscious connection between both ends of the brain's stress seesaw. So I want you to look at behaviors you've engaged in and that they've become addictive and how they're connected with trying to manage unbearable stress. So we're looking at stress, what did you do to reduce stress, reduce cortisol by raising pleasure or raising dopamine? Let's see what you discover. <clears throat> Let me just say a word here. You know, getting down to the truth about not only addiction, but also recovery, it's really crucial if we're going to live, uh, live freely, live free lives. <clears throat> if addiction means enslavement, well, what we want is liberation or freedom. And uh, every day, literally every day, I attempt to add to both not only your knowledge, but mine too, by engaging in research. I'm quite diligent about this. From early in the morning till late at night. <clears throat> I love sharing it with you. But I want you to know how much I appreciate your watching and participating because none of this would be possible. Uh, wouldn't it be remotely possible if I didn't have support from those of you who subscribe here to the Your Vitality Project? You help support me. Uh, you come to my workshops. <clears throat> you support me on Facebook. You get the word out. And so I'm thanking you. And it's in that spirit of uh, sincerely thanking you that I want to invite you, if you haven't yet subscribed to Your Vitality Project, it's easy to do. It's, uh, you just go to vitalityproject.life and uh, you can sign up. As you know, it's for free. And I invite you to invite those that you care about to also uh, join us. We want to share the wealth here. So again, it's a free subscription to your Vitality Project at vitalityproject.life. In the meantime, <clears throat> I hope that you'll stay safe, be well. I look forward to hearing what comes up 
for you as you complete today's homework invitation. And we'll be back tomorrow, and I hope you'll join me then. Thanks again for coming today.